Hello guys and welcome back to Sam's Disney Life. Today I'm talking about the life planner on how I do my everyday planning and yes this starts in July and it's now the 29th of June and I'm so excited to get started on this. I've had it for a couple of months now and I just cannot wait to get started on it. So let's get started. So this is from Ellen Condren, you probably already know that. You've got your ruler, I sometimes use that as a divider. You can have it personalised with your name and this is like the laminate effect i got the 18 month planner um i wasn't so keen on having two life planners i just like to have one to go all the way through so this is why i've chose this one coming up to the first page you have this like marker where you can use your wet erasers that's what these are these are also from Ellen Condren and you can use it on here and you can wipe it off and use it again uh, but I tend to not use this as much as I used to. Um, this is a pocket you can also purchase from Ellen Condren. You can put your little stickers in it just like so. So that's what I tend to use this page for now is to just put a little pocket in to put my stickers but that's about it. I've also got all these kind of postage notes and you've got all different kinds of shapes. You've got flags, circles, squares and then I always tend to use this one. This seems to be my best one at the moment and I've got this kind of style and I've got this one and I just keep them in the front of my planner so I can quickly get to them quick and easy. So that's what I do and then you come to your first sheet and then you've got this see-through plastic sheet and that will show your life planner and I've just put my name on there as you can see and then you come to this first sheet here I think this is absolutely beautiful I love the quotation in it and yes and the multicolors layered effect is beautiful and then on this page I've already started to put some certain things in and these are all the dates of my hopefully holidays for December and next year and I've just put a little tab so I know which one is which so that's what I tend to do on this one I don't put much else on the yearly layout then coming on to this sheet here I've already put my monthly stickers I do know a lot of people will start with January here and then they'll end with December there but just because this diary starts with July I thought I would start with mid July and then when it does come on to next year I've got that there it just makes more sense to me I wouldn't want to put my January there because January does not start there so that's just my logic about it but I do know a lot of people do it different and that's absolutely fine um, all I've done is put these stickers and the stickers are from this sticker book and this is also from Ellen Condren and these have all of the months what would be up here and you've got some like celebration ones or like here it would just come out of Christmas and it's you've got like little gloves and that because it gets a bit chilly and stuff like that and then so forth you've got all your different ones there which I think are absolutely gorgeous and yes so you can get this from Ellen Condren as I've just said. I just thought that is really pretty for do this particular page in itself. So for this page I normally use it for notes for that particular month. So for an example if one of my daughters have a hospital appointment and it's in July, I've actually got one in July, I would just put a little tab and I'll just put hospital appointment what time and date and then if I do need to quickly get to my diary and know exactly what's happening I will go straight to this page and I know oh right okay on that date uh, hospital appointment at such and such and then that's how I quickly get things done in my head so for this page I'd rather I would normally leave it as it is 
that's all I would really put for decoration. I've just put a little washi tape with the, the month label and that would be for that one. And then starting on your first month, you've got a lovely quotation and it'll tell you the month and the year. And then this is where I start my first week in July and I'm so excited for this. It is crazy but as you can see i've started to put a little bit in i haven't put everything in because this is the full month laid out in itself so i'll normally put if i need to edit in any of the days so so the first week in july i do know that i've got some hair appointments for my children and stuff like that i do know from the 5th to the 8th i've got nothing planned at all so i've put some washi tape and that clarifies to me that free time i will probably put stickers saying me time or something like that and then i do know every tuesday i edit so i've just put some little editing stickers uh, the reason i don't to do much on this one is because i've got the petite planner and this is where i'll do all of my organization for my channel so as you can see in july this will show me exactly on the monthly layout on when I'm filming, when I'm uploading and so forth as you can see and just on my life planner I will put when I'm editing so I know straight away that I need to edit on that day without even looking at the rest of my petite planner notes and stuff like that. So for this one I'm just going to put a little bit more stickers and then I will get back to you. Okay guys, so I'll just put the rest of the editing stickers. These are from, if you can see that, I will link the shop below. So if you are interested in these, you can. And you get little editing stickers, you get little filming stickers, and you also get some uploading stickers within this. But as you can see, I need to order some more. So guys, this page will normally stay like this. As the months go on, I will add things to this but at the moment that's all I need to put down because I haven't got much appointments booked or anything like that so that would normally stay like that at the moment and then this page is normally my upcoming vlog so this would have been the one I've actually put up already but I'd normally put the one what I'm going to be doing the beginning of say July and then that will just stay there in a a5 so i just quickly know what i'm going to be doing so then i can plan ahead this page a lot of people struggle to find anything for it um the grid i'm not a great fan of i don't find much for it at all so i've put another one of these pockets in and i will just keep my stickers in there for this page um this one is the little reminder so for example i run out of any medication what i need to reorder or any fabric softener or things what i'll tend to forget to get when i'm shopping i'll tend to just put a little note there to remind myself uh, in here it's filming so it's filming ideas so if for an example if i'm out and about and i get a filming idea i can quickly get my diary out and jot it down there it's a great reminder for me because i can have ideas for certain films and stuff but then i end up forgetting and that's the end of it it never comes back into my head so having this little reminder of things i'm wanting to do a little note taking of ideas i've popped in my head then that is for that this one is because at the moment i'm doing homeschooling and i always tend to have lots of ideas for work so if it's if there's an activity i would put the idea for the activity and i'd maybe put the date of when i want to do that activity with the children so that is for that at the moment because i'm homeschooling but once they are back at school then that would probably change the stickers i have actually got 
for that so this is the first week in july you do have the 29th which is today and you do have the 30th there when it's my days off i will just put that as completely blank because i tend to just catch up with housework and stuff like that so that is completely blank i don't do anything that day but when it comes to the first which is a wednesday and so forth i will be then doing my normal routine which is homeschooling at the moment and stuff like that so i'm going to be filling in the stickers for that okay and this here is i use it as a little checklist um if i'm needing to do anything quickly i can jot it down with my wet erasers that is what this is used for this is also from ellen condren this just snaps in so it's quick and easy to get in and out and you can just put it at the front if you want to and this has got all the days of the week so if you need to jot anything down really quickly but you don't want it actually in your main planner then you can quickly just put it there as a quick reminder on something you need to do so that's really good let's just take that out because i'll be using that for something in a minute so yes i've put all my stickers in as you can see friday we don't do any homeschooling we call that our day off that gives me time to reflect on things i'm needing to do i know i've put love note but that doesn't matter it's just normally a note checklist on if i've done everything that week and yes this is normally something i will definitely use in this section i don't really tend to use it as much but it does normally get used for something when it comes to getting dived into the planner i'll probably put some notes in there if the children are needing anything that's what would go there i don't really tend to use the calendar at the bottom so when it comes to bin day i have some bin stickers as you can see and i will link where i got this from as well these are from etsy and i will just put a bin on my bin day so my bin day is on a wednesday there we go that just reminds me that my bin needs to go out then so guys i'll be using these flags for when i'm having to pay for things so i'm going to be putting some tabs around here on certain days i'm needing to pay certain bills and stuff like that so let's do that and the stickers i've just put on are from ellen condren as well as you can see and then i'll be using these these actually come with the petite planner i've just shown you they're just at the back of each of the books and i'll be using these dollar signs i know i'm in the uk but it really doesn't matter what kind of sign i use to represent money so let's put some of those on okay guys so i've just put some little things here and then i would just put here how much it was how much it is and who it's for and stuff like that so that's what that is for then on my shopping day i would put some little shopping stickers so let's do that so i've just put some little shopping list stickers here these little tabs will just show me certain things i definitely need to get but i will have a main shopping list on this i would use this for my main shopping list i would easily just put what i'm needing there we do do a weekly shop so it's not massive and i'll just simply take this with me and then at the end of it i can just erase it and that is that but this is for things maybe what i'm not going to be able to get from a certain shopping center so if i have to go elsewhere for them then i would probably put them in there and then get into the channel bits and bobs and what i actually do for my channel Um. 
and obviously because I'm all about Disney I'm using these stickers again I've linked them before in my last Erin Condren vlog these are from Etsy and I think they're absolutely gorgeous I do know you can get these off eBay as well for I think they're a little bit more cheaper so definitely check these out I will link them below obviously because my editing and filming is normally orientated about disney so i'll always theme my planner and the editing around disney okay then i'm going to be putting some little tabs so i can just write against them or i might have a little notepad but let's have a look at the sticker options so i've just picked these up these are also from Ellen Condren, which I think I've showed you before. I'm just going to look through these for some little tabs. So guys, I've just put the little like bullet point stickers, what I use. And I'll just literally put what I'm editing in the little tabs there. And that will just give me an indicator of what I'm actually doing. As I've said, with this month, I'm doing a lot of editing, a lot of homeschooling, shopping, paying bills, all that kind of stuff. So that is basically everything what I'll be doing this week. So that's how I've planned it out. So now I'm going to be doing some more decorating and then I'll get back to you. And I'll just use this to do the little tab. You can use a ruler, but I haven't got that to hand, so this does it perfectly. And the other side, I would just grab it and pull. Remember to pull upwards because it will make a mess if you don't. And that just makes me a nice straight line. okay guys this is my full layout as you can see i cannot wait to actually fill it in with all the little writing i need to put into it but for me this is absolutely fantastic for when for when i fill it in i will be using these interchangeable pens here these are also from ellen condren i did mention these in my last vlog as well all you need to do is change the top here and then you can put a pink one then you can start using it as a pink and then it's same on the other side there these are around about $15 and I find them really really good I'm not going to fill it all in right now because I think you'll find that pretty boring but I just wanted to show you how I lay it out 
and just to help you on maybe some ideas on what you would like to do um when things do come to be more normal after the lockdown is fully lifted then this will probably change just because i won't be doing homeschooling anymore um and i'll be going to college so there will be college stuff within this but at the moment i'm not having to concentrate on that so much so that is why it's not there but if I have got some college work, that would come on my day off, unfortunately. And that is where that would come. But I just wanted to make this video really short and sweet and get straight to the point on how I actually plan. Because that is what you're watching me for. So, yes, that is the basic layout and everything. And th as I've said, this is an 18-month diary. So this will cut all the way to next december there next december um it is quite a thick diary um it is on the weighty side but i don't mind that at all i know a lot of people have gone for the two separate ones that's absolutely fine as well that's everyone's personal preference on what they want so yes i hope you enjoyed this guys now all i'm going to do is put my little stickers in here Shut it and then say goodbye. Okay guys, I do actually have the cover as well. So I'll just get that to show you. So this is also from Ellen Condren and this can fit your life planner in. It just protects it, keeps it all in shape. And in here, you've got all your little dividers if you wanted that. I've just put some little Mickey paper clips and I've got my Erin Condren pen there. I've also got some little tabs. I haven't found a use for those yet, so they are there. And I've also got these what I've used for the whole month for the little circles to just do the whole month of my holidays, as I've showed you. So this fits your planner in like so so that just fits in there and then i'd put all of the rest of my stickers in there when it comes to all of my sticker box they stay out of here and i'll just put them on my desk or in my desk drawer for when i need them so guys i do hope you enjoyed this today i really enjoyed doing my first week planning with you guys i'm so excited when it comes to the first that i can open it up and start using it it's going to be absolutely fantastic i cannot wait but yes if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up give it a subscribe and i will see you in my next one thank you